Imagine for a moment that your bones are a bustling city, ones with streets and buildings and employees that work 24 seven to maintain that environment. Now picture an unwelcome visitor, invasive cells that have traveled from another area and are now taking up residence in that very city. This one's harmonious community is now experiencing detrimental consequences to its existing infrastructure. For many patients with prostate cancer, this is often a reality. Despite cancer growth beginning in the prostate, the favorable environment of the bone allows invasive cells to migrate from the bloodstream and into the bone, which drastically reduces its quality. This leads to a higher incidence of fractures, severe pain, and impaired mobility. However, the very complexity of bone is what makes it so challenging to study. The dense and mineralized microenvironment, which was presented on the bottom of the slide here, has several cells embedded within it. Once the cancer cell invades into the bone, it interacts with those very bone cells and promotes cancer growth. So when we attempt to study these interactions using traditional lab techniques, we often fall short. These models allow us to only study one cell type at a time and do not capture the dynamic nature of the bone. So that hustling and bustling city that we previously talked about is now reduced to say, one small road. Now, what if we had a device, one that was small enough to hold in your hand and was able to study exactly how these cells invade into the bone? This is where my project comes in. My novel bone model enables us to study processes like cancer cell invasion on a tiny chip in the lab. Prostate cancer cells and all of the major bone cells can then be incorporated into this device to allow them to interact and mimic the structural and mechanical properties of bone. We can then monitor those interactions between the cells and image the process of prostate cancer cell invasion. Using this model has the potential to revolutionize how we study prostate cancer bone metastasis, among many other diseases. This work allows us to go from trying to understand that complex bone that we see on the left there to using that small chip on the right. By developing a more accurate model, we can begin to test new therapies, accelerate drug trials, develop more personalized treatments, and ultimately paint a clearer picture of what is happening at the cellular level. So, as we continue to explore the bustling metropolis that is our bones, this bone on a chip model serves as a city planner for prostate cancer bone metastasis research. We can better understand the, beh the behavior of prostate cancer cells and how they invade into healthy tissue. As such, this miniaturized version of bone has the potential to lead to even bigger discoveries.